Steven, um, this is Athletics Africa. Um, congratulations on your bronze medal yesterday and your performance as well today. Um, how do you see the competition here in Africa? Well, I mean, it was very good. I mean, yesterday I felt like I uh, should have done a little bit better myself, uh, but the other two competitors definitely performed when they needed to. I mean, the person who went through it on the sixth round, so, you know, it, it happens and, uh, you know, I think the two discus throwers we're competing against today were amazing discus throwers, and the conditions weren't the best, as in uh, not really with South Africa, but today uh, for discus, having a tailwind is just awful for discus. It just pushes the discus straight down, and like they just fall out of the sky. So we had better throws, and the results kind of showed, but it just uh, didn't really show it because of the terrible winds we had today. So. What are you? What are your targets for the year now? As I mean, towards Rio. Uh, towards Rio, I mean the first thing, and I kind of bid my goal for year to make the Olympic final. So in uh, shot. So no matter what, that's kind of been the end goal all year. And if that happens, and everything, and all the things I've sacrificed is all hard work. Work is completely worth it. So. Nothing really has changed, trying to make the finals for Rio. So, I understand that the Nigerian trials now is in July. Are you going to be able to attend that, or you have a different... Uh, as of right now, uh, I mean, I, uh, we, I'm thinking that I'll just um, focus on training for a month. Uh, I mean, I already qualified that. I have been the, another person who qualified for a shot for Nigeria. So, I was more fo thinking about focusing on just having a full month of just training with my coach. And also, uh, I kind of have a job on the side of this, so missing time for work is always not, not very good. And I just have to come back to a pile and a pile of work. So, being able to do my job and have a solid month of training is probably the best thing going into Rio. So, do you think there are things that you still need to work on between now and the oh. Olympics? Or you're just going to continue with your training? I mean, I'm just going to continue with my training. But, uh, I mean, truthfully, I'm pretty young for my career. I mean, i um, only 22 years old. And, you know, there's a lot lot left that I, I just know I have to work on and things I wish I had years before Rio to fix. But, realistically, I know that the Olympics is coming in a month. And I don't need to reinvent the wheel to throw for so it would just be doing the same things and the same things I've working for, been working on for this year and then next year and future years I can, you know, fix those major problems that, to really, really throw for, so. Okay, so now that uh, it's Olympics you're working, what are the, what, what are the predictions for Olympics? What do you, do you, what, where do you think you kind of place right now in the field? Uh, I mean, it depends. Uh, I kind of, I would say it completely on me um, like I mean in a lot of ways I have the potential to be up there with those top three guys but I haven't learned fully and matured enough to learn how to compete with those top three guys so um, you know that's that's kind of how I mean by God's grace something clicks at Rio and you know everything kind of goes in the right direction where I'm just ready to win and uh, you know do that but if not then like I mean Realistically, it's just gonna matter my mindset going into Rio and how I perform on the very day because I could be anywhere from not qualifying to winning the championship. But it's just gonna depend on my mindset and how I uh, see in the big stage. But I have the potential to do whatever I want, honestly. <laughs> so, okay. Go on, three, run uh, slow, and after you can, can just give all in the final. So.